Hi, and welcome to Amanda and Zoe's Tastic Podcast. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to upload a new episode on Monday. Things have been kind of crazy. Um, Zoe wasn't feeling well past couple of, for not the past couple of days, but a um, few days ago. She had a stomach issue. I had to take her to the vet. And then we had a cancer scare with Esme, but she's fine. Both of them are fine. Esme's cancer-free. It just turned out to be a fatty tumor. Um, and Zoe's fine. They gave her meds, and she was all good. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about pit bulls. So a lot of people think that there is actually no such breed called a pit bull. It's just a classification for dogs with really, bleh, can't talk today, big blocky heads. That's not true. The only pit bull is the American Pit Bull Terrier. There's similar breeds that may or may not be related. There's the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Bull Terriers, etc. Um, American Bullies, things like that. But the really the only pit bull it should be the American pit bull terrier, and I think, and the Tumblr blogs, them bulldogs, and not a pit bull have pointed this out too. It's like if more people were accepting of the fact that the only pit bull is the American pit bull terrier, there probably would be less of a case of breed specific legislation, and I think people would, um, you know recognize like like let's say like when a, there's a god forbid there's a dog attack instead of being like oh it's a pit bull but just because it's got a big blocky head they would say no it's a boxer mix or it's a lab mix or whatever or it was a mastiff or you know pick a breed because let's face it a lot of people don't know what the heck are real um American Pit Bull Terrier looks like. I didn't until I started doing more research and I happened to come across those Tumblr blogs a couple of months ago and they're really educational. I mean, obviously I don't disagree with everybody posts, but for the most part of the thing, it's really good and very educational. Um, I don't think that American Pit Bull Terriers, I'm just going to refer to them as Pit Bulls from now on, um, are the dog for every person. Like, I don't think like your average dog owner can handle them. Um, but you know, that goes for a lot of big breeds, you know, a lot of, and a lot of powerful breeds. I mean, I don't think everybody's equipped to handle a German Shepherd and I don't think everybody's equipped to handle a Doberman or, you know, a Mastiff or a Rottweiler. It's, you know, they're not breeds for everyone and that's okay. Um, you know, and another thing I want to touch on about is that they have a tendency for dog aggression. Um, American Pit Bull Terriers, Amstaffs, and Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and I think Bull Terriers too, but um, don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure, and those m kinds of mixes, do you have a higher than normal tendency for dog aggression? A, they're Terriers. I mean, how many times have you seen a Jack Russell Terrier be like, wah, 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 wah. you know, but nobody cares because they're like 20 pounds and they can't really do that much damage. You know, I mean, I can count on, <laughs> I can name at least five different Jack Russell Terriers in my neighborhood who are very dog aggressive, but again, 20 pounds, you know, they're, they're not going to do much, you know, um, but, but, you know, and let's face it, like it or not, pit bulls are bred to fight in the pits, that's where they got the name from, you know, I personally think dog fighting is disgusting, leave it to a man to come up with such a bloodthirsty, awful sport and to breed, um, you know, a dogs for that purpose but you know I also respect the breed's history and you know I, I don't think it's responsible of people to take their pits or staffies or am stuffs to the dog park or any of those kind of mixes because yeah they, you can socialize it all you want but you know a lot of times when they hit maturity which is anywhere from two to four years old um they'll become dog aggressive and there's a really good rule of thumb. Never trust a bull breed not to fight. They might not start the fight, but they're going to finish it. And then, guess what? You're going to have a dead dog. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of pit bull haters out there. And it doesn't matter if your dog was the nicest dog in the world and was just defending itself. If it kills another dog, it's probably going to get euthanized. You know, I, I hate to be morbid, but let's face it. Um... You know, it's just, it's really irresponsible. Uh, you know, I just, I, you know, I really don't think that the average dog owner should own any of these breeds or any of these mixes, you know. And I think if you want to be a responsible bully breed owner, you should 
think about whether or not you can handle a dog that's gonna that could have dog aggression. You know that you should definitely be prepared for that eventuality or that possibility, I should say, if you adopt a bully mix or you know an American pit bull terrier. I definitely think you know that's something you should really think long and hard about before you adopt one. Um, you should probably also buy it's something called a brake stick. And it's basically a long stick with like a flat part and God forbid your dog attacks another dog, you can kind of put it in its mouth and it won't harm them, we'll just make it uncomfortable and they'll release their jaw. Because it's not so much that like pit bulls have like some kind of mythical locking jaws, it's just that they were bred to fight and they were bred not to give up. So yeah, th throwing water and yelling at your dog isn't going to stop a dog fight. The break stick isn't going to harm a dog and you know, it'll allow you to pull your dog off and it'll give the other dog a chance to survive. Um, you know, and the, okay, like, yeah, if you have a bully breed or bully mix, you shouldn't take them to the dog park. Um, but there's plenty of things that you can do. You could get a flirt pole. I just got one for Zoe, but she's kind of like, what is this? So I have to kind of train her into, um, liking it. But, you know, that makes sense because she's never seen one before. It's not a toy she's used to playing with. Uh, you could get one of those puzzle games that you put food in. They have to do that. You could, you know, do IPO, um, weight pulling, uh, bike riding, hiking. I mean, there's so many things you can do with your bully breed. You don't have to go to the dog park. It's probably best if you don't because, <laughs> believe me, there's at least one or two nasty... Um, one I think is a pit mix, the other one's like an Amstaff mix or something, who are very dog aggressive. The owners are complete denial about it at the dog park, and nobody likes them. And God forbid something happens, yeah, I have a feeling that those owners are going to get kicked out or going to have the dogs taken away from them. I hate to say it, but, you know. So don't be that owner, please. It just, no, it's, you, you know, it's not safe. So my recommendation for people who are pit bull fans or aficionados or thinking about adopting one, I would definitely think long and hard about the pros and cons. Um, I would definitely check out the Tumblr blogs, not a pit bull, and then bulldogs. I'll post the link up later on the uh, official Facebook page for Poochtastic Podcast. I would also definitely do a lot of socialization, but you should understand that sometimes genetics will out, you know, and around two to four years old, they're gonna, they could develop dog aggression or dog selectivity. You know, it's just part of the breed, just like the way Dobermans, male Dobermans have same sex aggression a lot of the times. You know, it's just something that you have to think about. And if you can't handle it, then don't get a bully breed. Um, also, please stop spreading the nanny dog myth. They were not bred to watch kids. They're great with kids because they love people, but they are not, you know, nanny dogs. That's, complete fabrication um you know so please don't spread that myth it's not good for their image I, you know and also too I would definitely um I would definitely uh really spread the word about you know, the fact that a lot of the times pit bulls and amstaffs and staffies can be dog aggressive. It's part of their history. Again, I don't agree with dog fighting. I think it's awful, but that's what they were bred to do. Just the way like a German shepherd was bred to herd sheep and be a protector, you know, and beagles are bred to hunt in a pack. They were bred to fight. And, you know, you, by saying, oh, like this one-year-old pit bull, um... <laughs> is great with kids and wow. other dogs and cats and stuff like that, you're not doing the breed any favors. I've seen that so many times on rescues, and I'm like, the dog hasn't hit maturity. Of course he or she loves everyone. See, Zoe agrees with me. You know, I, I do think that you have to think long and hard about the breed is right. Uh, and Zoe agrees with me, as you can tell by her barking. And I think people should stop trying to either demonize or, like, make the breed out to be a saint. You know, they like any other breed, they have good qualities and bad qualities, and they're not meant for everyone. So in the end, um, if you're thinking about adopting or purchasing 
a pit or a pit mix, definitely get yourself a brake stick. Do training. You know, that way if the dog does become dog aggressive, you can manage it. You know, don't take them to the dog park, please. That's a huge no-no. You're not doing yourself or the other dogs any favors. You don't set your dog up for failure. Um, definitely do your research, uh, you know, and be a responsible pit bull owner. So that way, you know, we can stop this either, like, you know, either they're like the monster breed or they're saints who don't deserve a bad rap. They're dogs. You know, dog aggression isn't a failing. It's just something that has to be managed. But, you know, don't be stupid and set your dog up for failure. So that's kind of my thoughts on pit bulls. And, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts about, you know, the breed. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You know, let me know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week, and I hope you have a good afternoon. Bye.